Folks, it's a good day in the lives of gun owners. Let me tell you why. The House of Representatives today passed H.R. 5827. This is hot off the presses. Basically, the House of Representatives has passed a bill, which now goes to the Senate for them, uh, the senators to look at. And the name of the bill is the Protecting Gun Owners in Bankruptcy Act of 2010. Here's what Congress says. Congress says it's now vital that gun owners in the United States be allowed to protect up to $3,000 worth of guns or one gun worth $3,000 or less. So in other words, they're creating a new exemption in the bankruptcy courts for gun owners. Great news if you're a gun owner. I really wish Congress would get together and create a protecting homeowners in bankruptcy for 2010. Guys, I understand it's important to have a gun. I understand that. But a gun will not keep you dry in the rain. You need to protect the homes. I can't understand why it's more important to protect a gun law or to enact a gun law than it is to enact a protection of the homes, I, I, an exemption for homes. I don't understand this, and this is what irks me. We pay taxes to these yo-yos up in Washington, D.C., who think this is a, a wonderful idea when they should be working on something that'll help people save their homes. Hey, guys, here's an idea. Let's create some jobs. Oh, wow. I, 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 yeah, if you're a gun owner, fantastic. You get a little bit more protection. Here's something to think about. If you're in Florida and you file bankruptcy, this exemption should be applicable in Florida unless they do something bizarre, uh, bizarre and you know, screw up the laws again. But let's say it is. Let's say you're a homeowner in Florida. Now guess what? You're allowed to protect $1,000 for a husband and $1,000 for a wife of personal property, meaning your stuff, your household goods and furnish, uh, furnishings, your clothing, your jewelry, the money in the bank, your cash on hand. But you also get to protect $3,000 worth of guns, and I'm probably thinking this is $3,000 per person, which is fantastic. So you get to keep more in guns than you do in personal property. Your tax dollars and mine put to good use.